Hi guys and welcome at my channel. On this video here I'm going to show you why Sony should fix them firmware updates. Um, they should, yeah we can say, really 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 change the fan speed in idle and also at load. Yeah, that means that they should change the fan speed when the console is not working, so when it's in idle, it should turn about 10% uh, faster, and also in-game it should turn about 20% faster, because um, I will show you now here, like you can see I have one console here from a great guy uh, from, I think, Austria is the name in English, and um, yeah, this is now about my 40 or 50 console that uh, uh, that I'm repairing and I really um, saw a lot of times always the same problem and I will try to show you this. You can see here that the cell CPU is really, yeah, it was getting very very hot. Now it's hard to focus this in here, so let me change the lights because um, I don't know if you can see that this is, yeah, now the light is great. It. Yeah, it's not that possible to see. I think I need to uh, disable my lights. So guys, I'm recording now without lights and uh, now you can see what I mean. Yeah. So here's the best proof and uh, I hope Sony can see this. Yeah. Maybe I will send this to Sony because it's really time that they should fix the firmware updates. They should um, set the fan higher. Yeah. And if it's just a bit, it's better than nothing. But they should um, do the fan settings higher, save it, flash it, and send us a better firmware, guys. Really, this is a shame. Yeah, just look at this. And I have repaired so much consoles. The most consoles are getting this yellow light of that because uh, they are just overheating. Too hot. And yeah, that's fucked up, guys. Really, in my eyes and in uh, other eyes, people's also, um, this is just fucked up, guys. Really, this is uh, yeah, we can say a shame for a nice uh, uh, consoles like this from PlayStation. And you should really set the fan a bit higher, save that file, and send it us. <laughs> yeah, give it free for an update. Yeah, maybe 4.60 or maybe. 5.55 or whatever but do a great firmware update guys not just trying to block some things just do really a great firmware update this should yeah you should get the end somewhere yeah and the playstation 4 also gets already too hot yeah this is the next thing that i have to repair because the playstation 4 is already with the same Construction, we can say. The lucky thing is really that the PlayStation 4 uh, doesn't have this fucking hit spreaders here. Yeah? God thanks that they have let this hit spreaders out now. And uh, I'm very lucky that they have decided to let this hit spreaders out. So now you just need to put the thermal pasty inside and then you put the cooler over there and it's finished. Yeah? Like Nvidia also. Nvidia, the GTX 600 series, they have let this hit spreader also out because this is just bullshit here also. Okay, guys, but whatever. I hope you can see here the right chip. Yeah, we can say it's fully. Yeah, it's too hot. It was getting too hot, and now this console has a yellow light of that. I will try my best. I will repair it and maybe I'll record it again. I have just do this video here now just to show you this uh, because this is really a shame in my eyes. They should change this. They should set the fan higher. And I hope that a lot of guys gives me thumbs up and that they really, uh, uh, yeah, will help me um, to send this to Sony and uh, maybe we can, uh, uh, yeah, maybe they can see this and they will see that uh, they should really set the fan higher. Yeah, they sh the fan should turn a bit faster because the console gets too high, really too hot. So. Yeah, like you can see here again, just a shame. And I have really already tested, like I told, if the console runs standard without modifications with a standard case, um, it really gets idle about 75 degrees, guys. The RSX is a bit cooler, maybe about 2 or 3 degrees cooler, but when you begin to play, this really gets over 90 degrees, guys. 
So please Sony fix that. Make a great firmware update for us and uh, yeah, make the fan higher because I can't hear the fan when I'm playing. The fan is just like, yeah, we can say standard. You should fix this guys. Maybe that the fan turns about 30% when it's getting um, 60 degrees. Yeah, such a great product and a fail in the fan. <laughs> I will repair this and see if this will work because this looks danger here. For all the people, yeah, if you repair a yellow light of that, then you should open this, change the thermal past here inside, also inside the heat spreaders, like I told every time. Work cleanly, work perfect, work slowly and with a lot of patience. And if you have done this all and repair this all, then you should make at last the holes on the console. Yeah, on the fat it's down here. Just watch my other videos if you don't know what I'm talking about. And for the slim you make the holes on the front, yeah? Because um, if you repair this without doing the holes, then you have repaired for nothing, we can say. Because the console will get again too hot, yeah? And as long as Sony does not a great firmware update for us, guys, um, the fan will always turn so slow and the chips will always get so hot, yeah? That's just fucked up. So now guys you can see the untouch flux is beginning to come out like you can see now and that's a good sign. I'm now on 600 degrees. Now let's go to the CPU. And now it's coming out like you can see again. Sorry if it's not so focusing because um, I'm recording with one hand and with the other one I'm working. <laughs> Multitasking. Well, like you can see the untouched flux is working now with the solding balls, with the contacts. And if you have too much flux, then you can let the rest out. I will show you, but maybe not. You can see this on my other video, because this is here just a video for Sony. And I hope they will really do a great firmware update for us guys. And also in future for the PlayStation 4. Yeah. So now you can speed up boot chips a bit and then you should let it cool down so at last you can see the armpit flux is not working more that means the most is already gone and um, 
yeah, now you can let it cool down. And uh, yeah, more you can see at my other video. I will uh, put you the link on this video where to see uh, how you should repair it with Amtech Flux. And um, yeah, this chip here is mostly only on the 60 and 80 gigabyte versions. This is the chip um, for the PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games. And mostly this chip is uh, really okay. Also, you don't need to open it. And um, if it's still working, then you don't need to open it. Like I told, you don't need to open it. The most important are these two here. And then you can take uh, normal flux, yeah, the clean flux. And you can do this small chips here. You don't uh, need uh, that much to do this with the Amtech flux. Okay, guys. So this you can do with a, um, with a clean flux. This is another flux. But for these two here, you should use the Amtech flux, okay? For the rest, just take this clean flux. I think it's the right name. And yeah. Here also is one with solding bolts down. This one is also with solding bolts down. This one, of course. And uh, this four here also. But like I told, most important with the Amtech flux are these two here. I heat it up at 600 degrees. Uh, a low fan turning, yeah, and uh, then I let it cool down, and then you can let the rest out, yeah, whatever. I will now boot all together, and I don't know if this will work because here again, one damaged chip, we can say full overheated chip, and yeah, that's fucked up. Hope you can see this here, okay, guys. I will put this together. I just made this video here for Sony and not to show you how to repair. You can see this like I told on my other videos. Shame. Yeah guys, so like you can see my work is finished. I will show you just now the solding bolts. Um, this was a console that it was never opened before. So you can say the warranty seal or the warranty sticker was already inside. This is a console that was really never open just now by me and it looks like this if you have done it right you can see the solding balls they are just looking like new okay guys so that's why I say work clean work like on my videos and uh, yeah it should just look like this let me focus uh, let me sorry that I can't hold this camera but I have now really really a lot zoom and now I will zoom back, wait, so you can see that it's really hard for me, but I'm trying to show you this so perfect like I can. Okay guys, so now you can see the solding balls are just looking like new. Okay guys, and that's why I say work clean, work with this Amtech Flux, um, I can try to turn the console now <coughs> and then we can take a look also to the CPU maybe I will be able to show you this, wait so yeah, and like you can see now here also the CPU the solding bolts are very great yeah, so sorry that I can't hold the camera because it's difficult for me to record this this is so much zoom and uh, I need to hold the cam really great but yeah I hope you can see this this is just perfect now let's check also the other side <coughs> so here we go let me hold this here and then I can zoom and focus uh, it's hard for me so like you can see it's really looking like new okay guys so I hope you understand what I mean the solding bells the solding bolts are the contacts we can say and uh, they look just like new yeah bling bling motherfucker <laughs> 
All right, guys. So I will pull this now together, and I think this will work. I have saw a lot shit already. I have repaired a lot shit already, and I think this should be now really great. If not, it's not my fault. The fault is from Sony. Congrats, Sony. You should do something better because I'm sure the PlayStation 4 will have the same problems if you not do the fan faster a bit. Yeah, what can I say? Like you can see, the console is running, and again, I have repaired a yellow light of that. Very great and very perfect. This is here for the guy that I have repaired so he can see that all is done perfect. Dr. Debian. <laughs> All right, guys. One more console. Save it. And like I told, I hope you guys uh, will help me. Give a lot thumbs up for Sony making us a great firmware with a bit faster turning fan, so the console gets cooler. And yeah, I hope this will help a lot. Okay guys, thank you again for all, thank you also for the feedback and if you want leave me a comment and yeah, if you like, like always, feel free to subscribe to my channel and yeah, like always, peace up and take care, wish you the best, bye bye.